hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadrat equation by completing the square method so the very first step is we want to make sure that our leading coefficient must be one in our case our leading coefficient is six we want to make it one so we are going to divide this one by six if you divide this one by six you must divide each and every term across the board by six so let's go ahead and simplify six over six simply becomes one x square plus this three over six could be written as one over two x plus four equal to zero in our next step we want to make sure that only x variable must be on the left hand side that means this number four must go on the right hand side so we can write this as x square plus one over two x equals to when you move this positive four on the other side becomes negative 4 so far so good so now we're gonna take care of this thing I want you to just simply focus on this part over here the coefficient of x don't worry about this sign you put down this coefficient of x which is 1 over 2 right up here I want you to divide this number by 2 dividing by 2 is same as multiplying by 1 over 2 once you multiply this thing 1 times 1 is 1 over 2 times 2 is 4 so always the very first step is you multiply by 1 over 2 and then the next step is whatever quantity you got you must always square it so we're gonna add this quantity whatever this quantity on both sides of these equation let's go ahead and put it down that one so we can write down x square plus 1 over 2x plus equals to negative 4 plus all right so now we are going to add 1 over 4 square on this side and 1 over 4 square on this side as you can see on the left hand side over here this represents a complete square of x plus 1 over 4 square and on this side we can write negative 4 plus 1 over 4 could be written as 1 over 16 since we have a fraction over here we can make this negative 4 fraction by just putting a 1 underneath if you are wondering how did we get from this point to this point how did we get a complete square we use this well-known fact this fact states a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared is always equal to complete square of a plus b power 2 so in this case x shows up right here and inside the parentheses 1 over 4 is right up here and this positive sign just got over here so now we are going to add these two fractions I put down these two fractions right up here and we're gonna simplify adding these by simply cross multiplying crisscross you multiply crisscross so that's gonna give you when you multiply negative 4 times 16 that's gonna become negative 64 whatever this sign plus you just put down and then one time one is one 
divided by your denominators 1 and 16 you just multiply them out 1 times 16 is 16 and when you simplify negative 64 plus 1 is negative 63 divided by 16 so this is our simplified answer for these two fractions i just put down negative 63 over 16 and on the left hand side is x plus 1 over 4 square so far so good and now let's go ahead and remove this uh, square root uh, this square so we're going to take the square root on both sides as you can see so this square and square root they undo each other they cancel each other out we just simply got x plus 1 over 4 equals to positive or negative and I can write this thing I can split it up negative square root of 63 and divided by square root of 16 and here is square root of negative 63 is could be written as i times square root of 63 where i is an imaginary number and always remember that the square root of negative 1 equals to i so let's go ahead and simplify this thing so this could be written as positive or negative i times square root of 63 divided by the square root of 16 is 4 and we have x plus 1 over 4. Now we want to isolate x so we must move this positive 1 over 4 on the other side so we simply got x equal to this positive 1 over 4 become negative 1 over 4 when you move it on the other side positive or negative i time square root of 63 divided by 4 and now the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to split these two signs are positive and negative so we have split them up one with a positive sign and one with a negative sign as you see thus we got our one of the solution is x equal to and since 4 is a common denominator I can write 4 right up here negative 1 plus i times square root of 3 as one of the solutions and the second one is going to be x equal to likewise 4 as a common denominator negative 1 minus i square root of 63 as you can see both solutions involve i as an imaginary number that means they are imaginary numbers they are not real solutions so thus our solution set turns out to be a negative 1 plus i times square root of 63 divided by 4 and the other one with the negative sign as well as you can see over here these are our two solution that is our answer and one more thing just keep in your mind since these are our imaginary numbers that means we have no real solution just make sure we have a no real solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.